Hey guys, we've been doing a lot of hydroponic uh, growing here lately, doing different leafy vegetables and the cracky setup and the floating raft and the rail setup. And we're doing the butterhead lettuce, the, uh, the pak choy, the Asian green, Swiss chard, all those leafy vegetables, even some of this, uh, I think this barca roll right here. Uh, one of the questions that keeps coming up is what else can you grow specifically? Can you grow cabbage in a hydroponic setup? The answer to that is yes, you can. Back in December, I started two cabbage plants in a little uh, 10 gallon tote with about eight gallons of water in there. This is what they look like in uh, late January. And here we are March 1st, and I think it's time to go cut some cabbage. So let me show you what the two cabbages came out looking like in the, uh, the cracky setup in the tote, and then I'll come back and show you a real pretty hydroponic cabbage in the floating raft side and if you're satisfied with that I got an extra beautiful cabbage to show you in the end. First thing I want to do is show you what happened inside the tub. Show you what the roots look like. That's a pretty big root mass up under there for both plants and this tub is just about out of water for the second time. It was just about empty. I went and put another you know, four or five gallons back in this thing to try to keep this stuff going. One of the situations that you have with a long duration crop like cabbage is gonna be, you know, 70, 75 days, something like that. It's gonna drink up a lot of water over its lifetime. So you're gonna to have to upsize the, uh, the size of the reservoir. It's not gonna work in just a little small container like a 30 day lettuce will. This is my smallest one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing off. That's a decent little head of uh, early Jersey Wakefield cabbage. Nice and firm. That thing will make some real good slaw. I'll go ahead and cook it all up. As is usually the case with plants, sometimes uh, one does a little bit better than the others. And that was the case right here. This cabbage, for whatever reason, uh, tended to just look better and is a little bit bigger than the first one. That's another very nice looking head of cabbage. You can do a lot of things with that. So this is what you get when you grow a uh, cabbage in a hydroponic setup using uh, Mr. Cracky's method. I think I could have benefited from a bigger reservoir, but that's the thing about gardening and uh, anything in life supposed to be anyway. You should be able to learn something during the process. And I think uh, I definitely learned I need to put these things in much bigger totes if I want to try to grow cabbage. But overall, I'm very well pleased with how they turned out. About the same time that I started those two in the cracky setup, I stuck one cabbage in the corner of the floating raft bed. When I had it in the uh, other greenhouse, I relocated the bed into the smaller greenhouse and brought the cabbage plant with it so it could finish growing. And I think it's turned out pretty good. That is a beautiful little cabbage plant right there. Absolutely beautiful. It's got a great big old mass of roots up under there. Not as clean and white and pristine as some that I have seen, but it's a pretty old plant. I'll go ahead and cut this off. Now that is a beautiful head of cabbage. All the leaves very well rounded, well formed, good color to it. I like this. So this is what you get in the uh, floating raft setup, trying to grow cabbage. I think this did better than the cracky setup, although that reservoir was a little bit small for those two plants. So what I have here now is the three heads of cabbage. The two smaller ones right here came from that cracky setup. And this one came from the, uh, the floating raft, typical floating raft with the aeration up under it. And I think even the smallest one right here, I'd be plenty happy with that. Certainly with this right here in a hydroponic setup, I would love to have a whole bunch of cabbage like that. All of these easy to grow, low maintenance, no hoeing, no weeding, just put them in there and this one right here just uh, plug the pumps up and uh, let it go these right here i did have to add some more nutrient solution to them i think most people would be satisfied with either three of these cabbages when it comes time to put something on the table but we can do a little bit better matter of fact i think we can do a whole lot better watch this and growing just a few feet away from where i cut this cabbage out of the floating raft setup is this beauty right here and i mean that is a beautiful cabbage if you went online looking for pictures of early Jersey Wakefield cabbage, I don't believe you'd find one any prettier than that right there. That plant is absolutely perfect. 
And just to be able to compare all of this side by side, I'm going to go ahead and cut this head of cabbage. Son, <laughs> now that is what you call a head of cabbage right there. Look at the size of the leaves that are on this thing. Great day in the morning. That is just beautiful. Some people like to eat the big older leaves on here. What I do is take these and uh, feed them to the worms, put them in the compost pile somewhere. And what I end up with is a cabbage like this. That thing bigger than the NCAA football. Absolutely huge. Let me go compare this to the other ones. Now a side by side comparison. The first two came out of the little cracky uh, setup I had. No aeration in there whatsoever. Just set it and forget it. Other than the fact that I didn't have enough water, the reservoir was too small. This one came out of the floating raft setup. And so as you can see, if you want to grow a hydroponic cabbage, yes, you can do it. And especially in the uh, floating raft setup where you actually provide some aeration and you've got enough nutrients there, you can grow some pretty good looking cabbage. However, if you truly want the jumbo cabbage, my advice would be to stick that plant in the ground in some good soil. Get you some horse manure or goat manure to put in that stuff. Make it nice and rich. And this is what you can get. Big difference between these and these. However, this one, I did have to water this thing. I had to prepare the soil. Had to do a little bit more work. If you don't have much time, you don't want to put much effort in it. A little cracky setup will do good. Get you some nice little cabbage. If you want something a little bit bigger, do the floating raft. And then if you want to uh, go impress some people, put it in the ground. So hope that was helpful. Y'all take care and Lord willing, I'll see you next time. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, entertaining, or just downright funny, don't forget to subscribe.